Hey guys, welcome back. So it's good to be here. I have a few things I want to share with you. I have a little bit of a makeup haul, not too much, um, but I have a new lipstick that I'm wearing now that I wanted to share with you, a lip combo. And I have um, a couple of like luxury um, purchases that I also wanted to share with you. So I want to start with my lip combo. Um, it's a new lipstick I bought from Burberry. I've been looking for a really pretty nude lipstick that's not too orange um, or too beige. Um, this one is probably not the, the kind of color that I've been looking for. I've been more into looking for like a baby pink pastel lipstick, but they're really hard to find. Um, I thought this one was going to be um, that kind of color but it's not but i love it anyway and it is the burberry lip velvet and this is in the shade number 402 pale rose so it comes in this really pretty um matte bullet and the lipstick is really gorgeous so when i was looking at swatches online it looked like a really pretty pale baby pink um, but on my lips, it is pulling a little bit warmer than what I would like. But it turns out I love it anyway. The lip liner I am wearing is this one. I haven't worn this in probably a couple of years. And it's MAC Dervish. So we probably all know this lip liner. It's a very nice color and it goes perfectly with the lipstick. And I'll swatch the lipstick for you as well. So you can see on my skin tone, it is a little bit more um, yellow than what I was hoping it to be. But again, like I said, I just, I really ended up loving it. Um, and I think it's a really, really pretty lipstick. So I did get another purchase um, a few weeks ago and I'm kind of a little bit disappointed. Chanel came out with some new brushes again and I decided to pick up this one. And this is the Foundation Blender number 102. And it's like a MAC, you know, like stippling style brush. The problem I find with this is it just, you know, it's not glued properly for a start. The barrel is kind of coming off. It's not dense enough. Um, it's very flimsy. And I bought it to use with the um, new release of the Le Beige Bronzing Soleil Tan Bronze Universal. So I was hoping to use it with this and I do, except because this cream is so dense, um, maybe it'll warm up in summer. It's very cold here at the moment, but it doesn't, it picks up, but it's, if you're someone who wants a super sheer light bit of bronzing, then you might like this, but it, it, it doesn't really pick up dense um, cream products. It's maybe it might be all right for liquid, but um I wouldn't recommend this brush and I don't think it's that great. These are the new Clinique Cheek Bop blushes, the ones with the embossing, the newest release. And the shades that I got are 21 Ballerina Pop and 16 Blush Pop. This is in the permanent line, I believe. And uh, this one's like um, limited edition uh, shade for this collection. And I, they've released this color before. So Ballerina Pop is a really pretty um, baby pink shade. This kind of ends up being, um, I have a different blush on, but I have to use it as a blush topper just because it kind of comes up looking, if I wear it on its own, it kind of looks a little bit um, an ashy kind of pink color so but if i use it as a blush topper um it's okay but if you have a dark deeper skin tone than me you won't like so the other one that i do like is this one it's a really really pretty muted peach and i will swatch that's almost similar to my um same color as my fingertips um i'll swatch the ballerina pop but it, you can see um, it just, it's very, very um, 
very ashy looking. Also, um, I wanted to show you my necklace. This is a Pandora bracelet um, and I've doubled it up to make it into a necklace. So I have two bracelets that I've connected them and um, I'm just wearing it as like a snake style chain and I absolutely love this necklace. I'm on the hunt for like the prettiest soft pale baby blue tone pink, something like the old YSL lingerie pink. Those kind of colors are just so hard to find and I guess it's, they're not like, they're not in fashion anymore, those kind of baby pink colors. You kind of, there's a lot of like browns and yellow toned lipsticks um, or deep um, colors and it's very hard to find a nice um, pale baby pink shade. So if you do have any recommendations, um, I would I really appreciate it. So now onto my luxury purchases. I have a few I'm going to show you. So I've already unboxed the first one. I've unboxed them all. So um, I'll just show you the box. Um, these are a pair of shoes. And they come with two dust bags. Receipt. and the um, dust bags. So I ended up with, oh my God, these are new release and they're all rubber. <sighs> they smell really good. I like the smell of rubber. Um, these are the I don't know what they're called, but they're new release. They're on Gucci, AU, UK, US, um, everywhere. So, um, I'll show you the back of them. Sorry, I'm just like, these are just so beautiful. I, um, every time I pull them out, I'm like, I just like, look at the back of these. These are a size 30. I had to size, I could have sized down two times. So I'm usually a 39. These are a 38 and I could have sized down to a 37. Um, but they, they still, they still fit quite well. So these are, like I was saying, these are full rubber and they are the most comfortable shoes I've probably ever worn. They are so comfortable. I don't know what it is about these. And they look they look so nice on the foot. Like they just, and they make the legs look really pretty too. And elongated and really, really nice. Perfect shoe. When you slip into them, they feel kind of squishy. Like they're so comfortable. And I love that the back, they kind of, they grip too. So, um... They're just really, really well made and really comfortable. Hey guys, so almost forgot to show you the shoes. Um, it's a bit dark in here and I tried to light it up a bit more but I couldn't. Um, it's night time here so I do apologize. But just so you can get a bit of an idea as to how they look on the feet. So um, absolutely gorgeous. You can see how pretty they make the feet and the legs look. Um, I absolutely love these shoes. So I really, really, really recommend you try them um, and you will absolutely love them. Okay, so these are my next pair of shoes. These are um, the Hermes Oran sandals. I've unboxed them. So there's my receipt and you get two dust bags and the shoes I got are these. These are the new um, blue shade. They've just released um, quite a few new colors and I believe this is Blue Dorset. I ordered these um, initially in Blue Bluette in a 39 
and they were too big and I decided I changed my mind on the color um, and I ended up downsizing to a 37 and I got this blue so they are just absolutely gorgeous and I love them so I've worn them around the house and yeah I only just got them so absolutely gorgeous love these kind of colors I'm loving all these colors that are coming out lately all these beautiful blues and pinks and pastel colors I thought these were going to be a little bit more pastel than what they are if you want more of like a baby light blue I'd go with the other blue color um the blue bluette I'd go with that I really liked these because I like that they're all blue. The other pair, um, they have black lining and I thought these were a bit more sort of fun without the black. Um, so they're blue all the way around. Okay, so now we have the Oran sandals. Um, you can see how they look on the foot. And last but not least is this beauty. So again, I've unboxed this and I've already got it out. Um, but I thought I'd put it back in the box for the experience. Um, receipt. And here she is. So this is the Hermes Avalon blanket. So I bought this to put in my um, spare room and I just have it thrown over my ottoman in there and um, I just thought it would be a really beautiful piece to have. So it's looking quite brown um, but it is a really nice kind of um, peachy rose kind of colour. It's looking quite orange in the camera. But yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. It'd be really nice just to like throw over just as like a shawl. This is actually the baby blanket, by the way. But this is all I need for that spare room. So I wanted to, um, before I leave, share with you these Aveeno products because I always forget to talk about them and I don't know why because they are you have to get them. Since I've moved to South Australia, my skin's been really dry, really irritated. The climate here is very dry. Um, hardly any humidity and my skin just got bumpy and irritated and constantly dry, which I've never experienced before. So that was kind of new to me. So I ended up um, discovering these products through um, just searching for soothing properties, um, soothing ingredients, something that's um, easily accessible. And I found these and they are beautiful. They even, um, I was even considering my niece, she's got really bad eczema. And um, so these work beautifully on her to really soothe her skin. The two products that I love and that I'd recommend uh, by Aveeno. These are the Dermexa range. The Daily Emollient Cream is really nice. It's thick. It's got collodial oatmeal, which is really soothing. Um, Fragrance-free. Ceramides. And it's just a perfect, perfect um, moisturizer. I've been using it on my face, but I've been breaking out. So I've got a breakout here. I got one here on the second night of using this. So I don't use this on my face anymore. Um, I'll just stick to my CeraVe cream. That's the one that I use on my face and I love that. And then if you want a little bit of extra, this is really good. This is the um, balm. So it's a lot thicker and it's more hydrating, like rich. So these are really good for the feet, the elbows, the knees, whatever's like dry and I've actually put this on my face before in like parts of my face and I've also used this on my niece's face really soothes down everything so 
Again, these have niacinamide, um, oatmeal, which is really soothing for the skin. Um, no harmful anything in them or irritating ingredients at all. So very, very, very good product range. And these are, um, at the moment, I think Priceline, it might be Priceline is having 40% off. So grab them. I also have, I stocked up on the body wash, the Demexa body wash again, which is probably the only body wash that I can use at the moment. And a new Aveeno product that I recently discovered, I think these only just landed in Australia. Um, and I saw them, they were like 40% off. So they ended up being about $4 each. These are the Skin Relief Moisturizing Foot Masks. So I got quite a few of these and I've been using them. They also have hand masks. They only had one left, so I haven't tried the hand mask yet. Um, but I've been using the foot mask and oh my God, they are insanely good. So again, it's got, it's got water, glycerine, shea butter, the oatmeal, the kernel oil, sativa, kernel extract. So these are really, really, really good really really nice and they just leave the skin the I again my feet are super dry and this is just like instant pick me up and it really helps the skin it helps the dryness for days so yeah pick these up if you can get them so that is everything so I hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions or any recommendations for videos leave them in the um, comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible okay take care bye